Teaching for Effective Learning. The following video is an analysis of my teaching in a lesson within a unit of volleyball based on the TFL or Teaching for Effective Learning Guidelines where teachers create learning opportunities in three domains. Domain 1 Creating safe conditions for rigorous learning Within this domain lie the guidelines for teachers develop democratic relationships build a community of learners negotiate learning challenge students to achieve high standards with appropriate support Examples of this domain within my teaching are students learning through gameplay where the emphasis is on succeeding as a team and developing skills through this. Small groups are also used to maximise participation and therefore achieve improvement. Students work collaboratively to achieve the goals of each lesson. <laughs> Domain 2 Developing Expert Learners Within this domain lie the guidelines for teachers, teach students how to learn, foster deep understandings and skillful action, explore the construction of knowledge, and promote dialogue as a means of learning. The following clip shows an example of using questioning as a means to guide discovery within my lesson. Good. If you are going to be spiky and your team's got control of the ball, where are we going to be standing? Ball spot. Yeah. Attack ball? Yeah, cool. So it's going to be pretty hard to slide the ball from here. Okay. Okay. So, where else, where else is it important that we need voice? The setter, yeah. So, if the setter's here and they don't know what's going on, who needs to call for it? The hitters. Yeah, so if you think you're in the best position, and then maybe if you feel like you can get it to deal, I could be four. Okay? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so what can you tell me about the trajectory of the each set? In relation to where the ball comes at you. Uh, in relation to where we want the ball to go. The four is going to be a lot wider. Yep, that's the travel at further distance. Yeah. Yep. So, Where's the ball travelling the shortest distance, would you say? Two. Two? So, do you reckon you could maybe get some sort of advantage from playing straight there? Yeah. Speeding, Speeding up, up Simba? Yeah. So, how do we. When does the ball. Like, uh, how do we speed it up? Not a lighter set, so it's just shorter. Lower trajectory. Yeah. Someone tell me about that set, something about that set from the back of the court during a game situation. Is it always, is it always applicable to yeah. have a back court? Set it. Um, no. Not all the time. Yeah. No. So you've got the time to. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. 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 Would you say that it gave you an attacking advantage? Yeah. Every team, every professional team uses backboard setting. Because you every team. Yeah. Three yeah. Three yeah. yeah, we got a few yeah. threes better than yeah. two. Yeah, three options better than two. The next clip shows using dialogue and examples to develop deep understanding. So obviously, if the ball is in front of me, it's going to be hardest to set it to where? Red. Red. Okay. Domain three. Personalize and connect learning. Within this final domain lie the guidelines for teachers. Build on learners' understandings. Connect learning to students' lives and aspirations. Apply and assess learning to in authentic contexts and communicate learning in multiple modes. An example of this domain is presenting information in a variety of ways 
to cater for uh, the variety of learners within the class. Sam, do you want to come up and maybe draw the trajectory of a set to number four? Okay. So in relation, I'm going to go so up like that. You know the setter? Yeah, you can do the that. The setter's going to move in, and the set's probably going to be about like that. Cool. That's perfect. Does everyone understand that? Yeah. So it's taking a higher trajectory, but it's travelling a further distance. Yeah. Can someone? Lauren's team, set up on this side of the court, and we'll have uh, Brad's court, uh, Brad's team just on the side of the court, just watching. So everyone understands. Okay. Yeah, so we need five of Lauren's team on this side, and then we'll need the leftovers as blockers and receivers on the other side of the court. So, just for the drill sake, we'll have one feeder. Simon, just on the other side, blocking. Okay, so 